what's up y'all back again with another video i'm continuing the month without tool trucks i was too busy last week to make a video so this is going to be week three yeah the beginning of week three and you know so far the really the only issues i've had i've needed to use the don't really have another option except for these pry bars uh, i've got these little little rink-a-dink Evercraft deals, but they they're like noodles They'll pretty much bend in half. So those haven't really been a good option um, Maybe at some point I can find some that are a little better But I also don't want to go spend a whole bunch of money on pry bars when once this is over I've got a perfectly good set uh, Tools that I have been using a lot of Of course I've been using the two little DeWalt's the uh, DCF 90238's impact and the DCF 601 screw gun. Those have been my two main power tools along with the, uh, the mid torque and the, um, the older quarter inch ratchet. The other things I've been using a lot have been the, these two Duralast sets that I've had for a while. I just I usually keep them in my car, but I decided to use them this week since I had them or this month. Um, the quarter inch set, it's a pretty good little set. I think this is either a it's a pretty high tooth count. I don't think it's a hundred tooth, but I know the little flex head. They claim it's a it's it's like the um, pretty much these are made by gear wrench. These are pretty much Chinese gear wrench sets. And I think that's like the 84 tooth, and this is the supposed to be like a the 120 XP, I guess. Because it's got the two little dual little paws in it. But anyway, the quarter inch set uh, in metric goes from 4 to 12 in shallow and deep, and then in standard it goes from 3 16 to a half and 3 16 to 7 16 deep with an 8, 10, 15, 20, and 25 Torx. Uh, a couple of extensions and an, an adapter I'm never gonna use. And pretty decent little set. I've used it a lot. The ratchet, this ratchet, it works fine. It's a little quick disconnect deal. But that's a, and there's an auto zone right down the street. So if I break any of this stuff, they'll warranty it. And then I also have the 3.8 set, which is 7, 8, 10, 12, it skips a couple of sizes, up to 18, yeah, I think that's the only, I think it only skips 9 and 11, yeah, up to 18, and then it has 5 sixteenths to 11 sixteenths, which doesn't make any sense, because it doesn't have a, why it doesn't have a three quarter, I don't know, but it doesn't, so you only go up to 18 and 11 sixteenths in the deep sockets, but whatever. And shallows, it's 7 to 19 with no, no sizes are skipped in the shallow. And then in the um, SAE, it goes quarter, 5 sixteenths, then 3 eighths up to 3 quarter in the shallow. A couple of extensions. Decent little spark plug socket. I've used it a couple of times. It's okay. It's not magnet or anything couple of adapters once again that I'm never going to use and then a couple extensions and once again this is like that 84 tooth um I believe it's 84 tooth I'm gonna have to look and see for sure but it's, it's definitely made by the same company that makes gear wrench stuff the apex stuff and I've got the regular ratchet and I also have the flex head and if that you know semi-locking flex head doesn't screen gear wrench I don't know what else does and, <laughs> Actually, last week I was playing around and was able to take the um, the uh, the guts out of the Matco ratchet and put them into the Duralast ratchet. I had to have a little spacer because the this is apparently just a slightly thicker head on it than the how you may be able to see it in this slightly thicker head on the Duralast, but with a little spacer, I was actually able to run the um, Matco guts in the Duralast, which I'd always wondered if Matco stuff would fit in a um, 
gear wrench style ratchet and it does it's not an exact fit but it does work uh, other things i've been playing with this pick this up this flexzilla it has multiple attachments you can actually it's a little blow gun that you can actually swap a bunch of different attachments into and you can make different links i think i got them laying over here yeah you got all kinds of different little that's like a little rubbery one this one you can put different needle little pointy needles in them i guess if you're airing up basketballs or something but i usually just leave this this one in there oh it does have a see if it's over here yeah it's got like the little venturi deal pretty neat little deal that this actually not sure how they're able to get so much air out of this thing but it does in my opinion actually work better than my little snap-on blowgun i'm not sure if like how they do that same compressor it's not like i have more air pressure going through it or something but this thing is ridiculous even with this huge long i guess it's just a bigger opening it's got to be just a bigger opening maybe i'll put it like a high flow <laughs> little adapter on it and see how ridiculous we can get with it and i did also think it was funny that it says it's osha compliant so i'm guessing it's not too loud but for 20 bucks like i so far i don't see any reason it feels better built than the snap-on one too it's you know it's got a metal uh this part's all metal plastic handle but it's it's a well-built little deal and i've been using it a lot that was one of the things i did not have was a, a good blow gun so that went pick that up and uh i think the uh the old snap-on one may get retired to the other shop because neither one of these in my opinion does as good of a job as that little this one little flexzilla deal and for 20 bucks why not you know i like it and it has all these different little attachments so you can turn into this super long deal pretty cool got a little hanger so i've just been hanging it over here on the side of the cart it's been doing good uh, as far as sockets impact sockets still using the um gray pneumatic stuff works fine i mean i didn't really think any of that was going to give me a problem pliers are a mess but i've been using mostly the uh nipex stuff i do have a pair of sk needle nose a couple other little things in there wrenches still using the ulsa stuff i love those ratcheting wrenches these also ratcheting wrenches are really nice they've got that i showed you all this before but they got the teeth in them so things going pretty good besides having an issue with pry bars um i think that's really the only thing i've used is the pry bars everything else has just been sitting there uh no i did use my air, my tire inflator but i don't have a different one so i had to use that and that's pretty much been it we don't have a whole lot else to report and uh if i do i will make another video and give you guys an update uh i'm going to make some videos about some other stuff that i picked up the last few weeks that i haven't made a video on i'll we'll try to make a video every day this week to cover all the other things i've missed but until then make sure to like subscribe share check out my instagram it's montevallo mustang i do post pictures there every day so check that out guys until then i'll see y'all later